I'm going to be showing you all the things I've been loving lately. I am so excited to film this video because it reminds me of my old YouTube days like three or four years ago where I did like favorites videos like all the time. And also really excited because instead of just doing like clothing, like I normally do like fashion type of videos, I'm also including beauty products. The first thing I've been loving are chino shorts in general, but mainly navy chino shorts. So these are just from J. Crew. These are just the three inch navy chinos and I'm obsessed with them. I wear them all the time. I have pretty much every color of chino short and like pretty much most of the patterns that they have from J. Crew. So in the spring I decided I would get the navy pair because I knew I would wear them all the time. And I wear these more than I've worn any other colors. The next thing I've been loving are just Lily Pulitzer shorts. And they're in multi elephant ears which is one of my favorite patterns. I also have a shift dress in this pattern. So I really love these a lot and they're so fun and I love scalloped things so it's literally perfect for me. The next thing that I've been loving are Norts which are Nike shorts and these are just the ones that like everyone has. They're the black with the white trim. And I wear these all the time. You need to get a pair no matter where you live, warm climate, cool climate. You will wear these all the time. I'm not joking. But I made a discovery with my friend Paige when I was in the Outer Banks and we discovered that we fit into the kid sizes at Gap. Like, what the heck? Why did I not realize this before? So I can either fit into an extra large or a double XL, but like for dresses, since I'm tall, I got the XXL, so I have two dresses from Gap Kids from there, and this one is my favorite. It's just like this floral pattern, and it's so cute. Then it has like a bow here, and it cinches in the waist, if you can see, and it just has like a tank top top kind of. So I really am obsessed with this, honestly, and guys, you seriously have to go check out Gap Kids and try on the dresses there because this was only $9, and what? Like, can we take a second? The next thing that I've been loving are Vineyard Vines Graphic Tees, and these ones are from the outlet store in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, and they're so cute, so they have the pocket on the front, whale on the back, and then this one is like a really cool one. It has just like the typical pocket, then it says keeping it whale, love, I just, it's just so cute, I love it. So I love Vineyard Vines t-shirts because I can wear them with my black and white Nords, and it just looks so cute. It's my go-to summer outfit, pretty much. So another thing I've been loving are long sleeve t-shirts. So my favorite ones include this Jadlyn Brooke one I caught in the winter time when I was at the Lucky Nine. So I love this one so much. It just says bow ties make everything better. It's so cute to wear with like um, my Nords. Like I said, oh my god, I just love Nords. Like I love them. But yeah, so that's a really cute one. Then my favorite long sleeve shirt that I have is my College of Charleston one, which I don't know like where it is, but. I got it from the Barnes & Noble bookstore from the College of Charleston online because obviously I'm not going from Philadelphia to Charleston to buy a t-shirt, so I just got it online. And I couldn't find that, but it's like a deep red color. It says cougars on the arm, and then it has like a pocket with like the palmetto moon. Another long sleeve shirt I've been loving is just this one that I got from the Farm Show Tournament in Harrisburg, and it just says volleyball and navy, and it's like this over-dyed red color love over dyed things it's just like the Jaitlin Brooke one but it's like red the next clothing items I've been loving are Lily v-necks so um the first one that I have is this red right return one and guys you need to get this these v-necks are so worth it they're $44 originally which I did pay for this one in Suburban Square in Ardmore again at the store in Suburban Square I think this is seeing pink I'm not sure I forget but I paid $34 for this one it was on sale um, at the store and then guess what it was on sale at the after party sale for ten dollars less so it was twenty four dollars at the after party sale um but yeah so those are my favorite v-necks ever for shoes i have four pairs of shoes i'm going to show you guys these are my go-to's these rainbows and they're the flirty braid i don't they're the braided ones like that like one side is braided and i got these in kitty hawk kites in the surf store there and I'm super happy that I got them because they're such good quality. These are my go-to flip-flops. I throw them on. They literally go with everything. It's the espresso color. So, like, it's just chocolate brown pretty much. Next, I have my Sperry's from a little less than four years ago. Um, and I wear these all the time because I'm not even joking when I tell you this. I've worn them at least, like, a thousand times. I'm not joking. So... They're really worn in, and the soles still look brand new, so that's why I still wear them. But you can tell they've been well loved. I have these, and then I also have a brand new pair of them that I wear when I go to school and stuff, but I wear these if I'm just going like out in the rain or something, because I don't care if they get ruined at this point, because 
they're so worn in. The next thing I've been loving are just these shoes and they're from Kohl's. I got them for $7 I think and they look like this. I have these in the white and gold pair as well but these ones are my favorite ones. Um, they kind of are like the boardwalk sandals from J. Crew, but much less expensive. So that's why I got these. Next, my go-to pair of sneakers have been my Roshi, Roche Runs, whatever you want to call them. I don't know. I, I call them Roche Runs, but people call them all different things. I don't really know. Um, I actually got these for $50 at the outlet store by my house, and that was like... I don't know, maybe in like April or something. And then I painted first impressions on the Nike symbols, as you can see. So I've been wearing these a ton. This is what they look like if you want to see up close. I also posted a picture on my Instagram, which most of you guys probably have seen. So now moving on into accessories. First thing I have is my white vineyard vines hat. This one is from the outlet store in Rehoboth Beach, so it doesn't have the vineyard vines on the back. But it was only $12, so why not get it, you know? And um, it says Vineyard Vines on the front with the whale. And I really love this because it's white, so it goes with everything. I can wear this with everything, so that's why I love it so much. So the next thing I've been loving is this monogram downtown tassel purse from Marley Lily. And I love this so much. So first off, it comes with this gold chain, which is really a great length. So you can wear it as like a crossbody or just throw it on your shoulder if you want. And then you can unhook it, and then it also comes with this if you want to turn it into a wristlet. So this bag is really the perfect size, and I'm obsessed with it. It has this tassel. It just has my monogram right there, really simple. So I love this a lot because it literally can go with anything because it's black. And Marley Lily did send this to me, but obviously this is my own opinion on this product. Like, I would not lie to you guys about this, but... I am obsessed with it. I'm totally going to use this all the time. It's just so gorgeous. Oh my god, I like, I'm, I'm in love with it. It's just the prettiest purse I've ever seen, so. I'll have Marley Lily's link down below for you guys to go ahead and check this out. Then they also decided to send me this tassel keychain, and I really like it. It's just silver, which matches my theme. I don't have any gold things on my keychain, so this is really exciting that they sent me silver. Right there, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it has my monogram. And then it has a black little tassel here, so that is so cute. And I have two sets of keys, so I'm definitely going to put this on one of the sets. The next accessory that I have been loving lately are my Ray-Bans. And I bought these with my own money. I really cringed when I bought them. I cannot believe I purchased these sunglasses, but it was kind of like an impulse buy. But I had been looking at them for a really long time, and I'm going to be driving to school every day this year. So I wanted a good pair of sunglasses rather than my $5 pair that I've had for years. So... This is what they look like. They have the flash lens, and it's like the yellow one, if you can see. But it looks red and orange and pink. They just look so cool, and I, I just, I'm obsessed. I really, like, am obsessed with these. So I'm so happy that I ended up buying them. Also, I just love this case that it comes with. You get to pick between black and brown when you get it, and I chose brown. The next thing I've been loving are croquis, and... I know I have them on my $5 pair that I've had forever. Of them. These Kogis are from Fraternity Collection, and I'm absolutely obsessed with them. They're just yellow and pink gingham, and I got these in the Outer Banks when I was in the Manteo waterfront, and um, I forget what store I got them from, but that's where they're from, and they were $6. The next accessory I have been loving is just a lanyard. So this is the Vineyard Vines lanyard, and I've had this for two years now, and I decided to put it on this because when I go to school, like when I'm driving to school and stuff, I just want everything to be like together because it's just easier for school purposes for me to just throw this around my neck when I'm going to my car. Next, I've been really loving Alex and Annie bracelets. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Don't judge me, okay? I don't know if it's Alex and Annie or Alex and Annie. Let me know what you say down below because I'm not sure what to call it, but... Anyways, so I really love these a lot. This is just the anchor one, which I love. It's in gold, and it's just so pretty. Then I have the sailboat one in gold, and I actually like the gold Alex and Annie better than the silver. I don't know why, but I just do. So, yeah, that's the sailboat one. I have a compass from my volleyball coach. She got everyone on her team one because it was, like, the last year for most of the people on my team. Then I have this one, which isn't actually Alex and Annie, it's from Marley Lily, and I got it for Christmas, and it just has my monogram on it, so I really like this, it's silver. So now I'm going to be showing you hair, skincare, and beauty products, so let's get right on into that. First, I love my Macadamia Professional Weightless Moisture Leaving Conditioner. This is so great, I use it every single day, and this is like a sample size, I got it in, I don't know if it was a Birchbox or an Ipsy, but 
it works really really good so I use it after I get out of the shower and I just comb through my hair and it leaves my hair really like smooth and not frizzy once it dries then I just have dry shampoo I always get my dry shampoo from Marshalls because it's so much less expensive and this is the Batiste floral and flirty blush scent and it smells really good Obviously, I love this because in the summertime, I try not to wash my hair as much unless, of course, I go to the beach or swimming. So I just use dry shampoo in between washes, and it really helps to keep my hair not greasy. So I highly recommend getting dry shampoo if you have oily hair or if you want to give your hair a break. Another product that I use after I take my shower is this Nexus Youth Renewal Rejuvenating Elixir. I got this from Target like a year ago, and pretty much it just has like... A dropper thing and you just like squeeze the top and drop like a few drops onto your hand and then you just rub it in your hair I concentrate it on my ends because I feel like this product helps my ends not split I don't know if it actually does but I feel like it does so that's why I use it I don't really know next I've been loving the Benzac acne solution skin balancing foaming cleanser and I have the whole entire set for this I got it from CVS like a little while ago I really feel like it's helped my skin clear up a lot before, I used to use an exfoliator every single night, and I don't know, I kind of feel like that messed with my skin. So this is really nice. It doesn't exfoliate. It just kind of cleanses your skin and really helps. That I also am a fan of their um, spot treatment as well. I do have to say, though, this does smell good, but if you use the hydrator, the blemish clearing hydrator, that stuff smells so bad. It is the worst scent I've ever smelled in my life, and... Yeah, I don't even know if that product works. I stopped using that one because I just, I don't know. I don't know what that one is used for. It's the step two in this, by the way. But I use step one and step three. If you don't want to use the bad smelling product, then don't use it. I also have to say the spot treatment does kind of have a terrible scent to it, but it's not as bad as the hydrator. Like, the hydrator is just so gross smelling. Like, A nail polish I've been loving has been white nail polish. This is Essie's Blanc, and unfortunately I don't have that color on my nails right now. Kind of being a hypocrite. I love white nail polish because it goes with everything and it makes you look super tan. So, had this on my nails a few days ago, then I decided to put this color on, but I do love white nail polish a lot. Now for makeup products, I've been really loving my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in medium dark and it really works for my skin. I'd say it's actually like medium coverage but that's still so good for a powder and I've had this for so many years and I hit pan a little bit as you can see right there but there's still tons of product left. Next I've been loving this which is a beauty blender and I do have another one of these. This one is kind of dirty but I want to get my full use out of this before I throw it out. So I've been using this one for a few months and it really works well for me to blend my um, concealer in and my foundation if I choose to use that. So I really love this a lot. I have been loving this concealer which is by Almay. It's the Clear Complexion Concealer Corrector and it's in the shade 200 Light Medium. I really like this a lot. I don't know if it actually like helps with blemishes at all but it does cover them pretty well. Next, I've been loving my Bahama Mama bronzer from The Balm, and if you guys don't know what this looks like, this is what it looks like. The packaging is pretty cool. So I typically use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer, but in the summertime, that's a little bit too light for me, and you can't even see it on my skin, so I have to use this. This is literally like a chocolate brown color, so I use it a lot. If you use too much of this, though, it does turn kind of like black, so you have to use this very carefully. The blush that I've been loving is just this Model Co. 1 and it's the Blush Cheek Powder in Cosmopolitan which is number one and it just looks like this. It doesn't have any shine at all and it's kind of like a mauve color. I don't know, you guys can't really tell because like the light is shining on it but it's like a mauve color and I really like this a lot. It's very natural looking. Next I've been loving it. two shadows from MAC. The first one is just All That Glitters. The second one is Naked Lunch. I know you're probably thinking those colors are literally like almost identical, but no. Naked Lunch is a frost, so I just use that like on my whole entire lid and then kind of on my inner corner because it doesn't have as much glitter in it. It's just kind of shimmery, not like bam, glitter in your face. Then there's all that glitters, which does have glitter in it, and I just use this kind of like in my crease. It's not that much darker than Naked Lunch, but I just... Think it's a little bit darker so this one is naked lunch this one is all that glitters you can't even tell because the light is 
reflecting on it but yeah so all that glitters is a velux pearl and then as i said naked lunch is a frost so they are different a lot of you guys probably think that they're the same but they're not so yeah i've just been loving these colors together another thing i've been loving has been navy and pink so as you can see my bed is navy and pink see like Next, I've been loving quite a few songs, and I have those songs all on my car playlist, see? Oh yeah. I'm just gonna share all the songs that I've been loving with you. I'm only gonna share a few because there's so many. So my first one would definitely have to be Crickets by Drop City Yacht Club. Okay, next song. Then I have been loving, let's see. Oh, then I've been really loving Peaches by In the Valley Below. If you guys can't tell, one of my fave movies that my friend Paige showed me is Endless Love. Like, I'm obsessed with it. It's literally such goals. Like, it's everything. It's... You gotta watch it, okay? And these songs are from that, at least the two that I'm showing you right now. But I'm obsessed with them. This one is Peaches. The chorus is gonna come up. It's so good. It's literally perfect, okay? Endless Love is everything, so you have to watch that movie and you have to get these songs because they're so good. Another song I've been loving, oh no, these are three songs, three other songs I've been loving. Let's Go and It's Alright by Matt and Kim and then Search Party by Sam Bruno. So I'm not going to show you guys Let's Go because that was a song that was in my last video and you guys can just check that out in my last video. So yeah, then I have It's Alright. This is Search Party. It's the one from Paper Towns, which I saw, by the way. I wasn't a huge fan. I don't know. I haven't read the book, though, so I didn't know what to expect. But I just, I wasn't, like, a huge fan of it. I don't know, so... Alright, done with that jam sesh. Anyways, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And be sure to leave any video requests you have down below because I would love to do the videos that you guys want to see. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!